Hello CS community, hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I will show you how you can convert your Figma design into Flutter user interface for Android and iOS, which will be completely pixel perfect and responsive within a few moments. And uh, you don't need to write any code as well. So let's get started. Uh, that's my Figma screens that I want to convert into Flutter user interface using that tool that I'm going to show you. So you will go to device.com and this is the website. You can always sign up for free. And uh, once I will click on sign up for free, it will ask me uh, for my email with uh, which email I want to log in or sign up. So I already logged in. You can select any email, uh, whatever email you would like to go with. And uh, you will get this screen here on this screen. You will see all of your previous projects, previous created projects. So I will give you a little bit of introduction, like at the same time, you can uh, fetch multiple screens of Figma and you can convert multiple screens of Figma into Flutter user interface within a few moments. And also you can also convert your whole Figma project into your Flutter app and you can uh, you can select the routing. You can select uh, like which uh, which is going to be the splash screen and each and everything you can select from here and also you can select the state management as well for example you have some screens where you have a show password and hidden password option on login screen and sign up screen so you can select state management for that like you will get an option using get x block river port and provider as well so if no state management, you will get the user interface and also they follow the clean architecture and uh, code quality is good uh, because I already tested this tool before. So let's get started. I will click on this new application, create a new app. And from here you will select the technology uh, because we need the board for Flutter. So I will select Flutter and design a platform. So if you have a design in Adobe XD, you will uh, select this one I have on Figma. So I will go with Figma. And uh, here we need to pass our Figma URL and create a new app. Explore sync design changes, create a new app. Okay. So within a few moments, it will fetch all of our Figma screens in here. So at the same time, I can select multiple. But uh, for now, I will just take uh, this screen and this screen two screens and uh, but you can always select all of the screens at the same time but uh, just for to show you the example I will go with uh, these two screens and click on submit and from here of course you can select your project name as well just because it's gonna create a, a whole application for you like a static user interface you but so you can write your project name so this way you would be able to continue your app that you will get from here and also you can uh, write your package name in here and uh, this is the app icon you can update later next and it's saying that uh, you can select any of state management whatever you would like to go with uh, while building your project from here you can select block get x provider or river port upon you so okay got it next <clears throat> This is very uh, like a uh, very good thing. Once your code is ready, you can send your code to GitHub, to GitLab. Um, also, you can download your code, of course, for uh, using uh, in a VS Code or Android Studio or IntelliJ IDEA plugin. Okay, got it. Move to screen list. Now, uh, wait, set up my config. Yeah, our screens are already uh, created and let's get started. And here you have the screens. Oh, oh my God, it's uh, completely uh, awesome. And uh, it's exactly how it was looking in my Figma screen. And here it says, select the splice screen. Now in both of the screen, if you have your splice screen as well, you can just check that screen and that screen will be, uh, is going to be displayed on the start of your application as a splice screen. But as of now, we don't have any splice screen. So I will just skip all the steps. Yes, skip. And here you are. We have zero errors and zero warnings. 
like usually when we create a project in Android Studio and VS Code, we get a lot of warnings, but here we have zero warnings. Okay, that's good. And uh, one more thing, like you can always select your routing for the screens as well. And uh, so I will click on build app. And uh, if you want to use some state management, uh, you can select block and it will create your folder architecture with respect to the block and provider, river port, whatever you would like to go with. And if you will uh, select uh, without state management, it will only create a static UI, uh, just uh, like you can set up later and uh, however you want. But if you will use block, it will also make the structure of your project and also will apply block for every state management and uh, build with block and here it's building our application with block and you can see your project structure is here this is the clean architecture and uh, rest of the things okay it's 100 percent ready we can view the code so uh, here we have the code and uh, of course this is your product project architecture it's created uh, uh, all separate widgets app bar as well and very very nice structure of project very clean code and also it's uh, showing you the clean architecture in here how we set up your uh, flutter code so to download this code you will click on sync or download with vs code and you can always uh, send your project to github gitlab or you can just download it okay so we got the project in our downloads folder it's here i can extract it extracted and uh, let's get let's run this project so i will click on open and uh, i will go to the downloads folder here we have the project i will click on open and here we got the project so mm, i have an emulator and uh, let's run this it will take a few moments to run your app and also you always uh, it's recommended to hit the pub get uh, in the very start wow here we have the user interface created by device and it's running on the android studio as well and if we go to the figma file wow this this is exact this is exact how i was expecting it to be but uh, yeah enjoy but one thing i would like to tell you they're using chat gpt4 behind this website thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe my channel see ya